Okie doke, so there is going to be one, <clears throat> excuse me, one combat for, um, again, like I said, until I pronounce it properly, hold on, where are my forceps? Um, until I pronounce, be able to pronounce um, uh, the guy's last name properly, Remus Von uh, Warsh, I'm just going to keep saying Warsh for now. Um, so he, he's here. Uh, but yeah, the blue things are just, like I said before, just to sh show me who's moved. Actually, some of these guys did move this guy over here, number 32. Let me go get my book. Um, that's actually part of the third core. So, um, all these guys here are all third core up to here, and he got moved over, so that was number 32. So that was the uh, Pomersh Reserve Infantry Regiment number 9. They moved over to here just to pl uh, to seal up this little hole, just for now. Um, um, who is, uh, I can't remember that guy's name. Uh, it would be nice to remember. Hold on here. I like to, eventually it's going to sink in. That's why I want to uh, just keep pumping these names into my head because they're going to be part of my narrative. So that's Magnus von Eberhardt. Actually, I think I've got a bunch of pictures. Hold on. Yeah, so I get to read up on them as well, which is really nice. Oh yeah, there's Remus von Wersch. You want to see what he looks like, or looked like. Um, hold on, where's, uh, oh yeah, there's that guy I was telling you about that's in charge of the 8th Army. Lud Lud Ludwig von Estorf, I do believe. I think he's, I've got him in charge of the 8th Army. I mean, look at that. He just looks so cool. Um, where are you? Oops, I should have put him back. I'll tell you one thing, I didn't print out all of Paul uh, von Hindenburg's uh, uh, wiki sheet. It was like, um, oh, it was just nuts. It was like 45 pages. Most of these guys are, you know, some of them I couldn't even find the thing. So there's Magnus von Eberhardt. He's uh, in, um, in charge of Third Corps. And his uh, objective has been, I mean, the full, the full on, where's my, where's my forceps? I keep doing this for Christ's sakes. And that's going to be a major damp. Oh, there they are, thank God. Um, so they're major, I mean, uh, Hindenburg over here, way off in, in, on, over here in the sector headquarters. I mean, his main has basically told them, look, uh, you take, you're going to have to take Kjeltz, uh, eventually Radom, and um, stop, basically. Don't go any further east of Radom. You can you know, push them all the way back to here, but that's it for, that's it, uh, for the winter until like January kind of thing. For Third Corps over here, um, his object, his um, orders were to secure this rail line from uh, the Palika River to uh, the, uh, the Kielsa rail line here, and also to take this spot. However, he didn't have enough uh, position, so in my narrative, uh, he basically asked uh, Remus von Wersch to get a, a to give a bell to um, um, that guy there with the the awesome hat, uh, von Istorf or whatever. Um, could you um, move the 2nd Cavalry Division, which were over here, just temporarily over to there? Hindenburg actually said, look, I'll do you one better. We'll reassign uh, that to the Warsh Army, 3rd Corps. And this one, that's I haven't done it yet. Uh, the 1st Cavalry Division, I think. I'll check, or maybe the 4th. But um, these guys over here, they'll be reassigned to the 8th Army. Everybody's happy. Um, here's over, over here's the 4th Corps. Uh, his objective right now is just to hold the position, reinforce the line. Uh, south of the Nida, but uh, he knows that eventually he's going to um, be asked to push uh, push north of the Nida, push all these uh, Russians out of here. Um, these um, two Hotzendorf divisions were uh, were railed over here. They're stuck here because it's that's the end of their movement. Uh, two Fistung divisions, uh, infantry divisions, the 3rd and the 4th from the Breslau Garrison Corps over here, were railed over here and they're over here, the 3rd and the 4th. They've also been assigned to the 4th Corps um, to help uh, plug this up. Here's the attack. Um, and I'm going to say this right now. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't know what uh, how many strength points... Um, beforehand uh, these guys have. That's why I want to start using that little airplane thing and start doing some kind of reconnaissance. Oh, I'm going to figure it out eventually, but I'm going to go for it, man. So this is going to be a weird, I guess, a, a kind of a combined command attack, if you want to call it that. So there's going to be the 4th Corps, um, uh, sorry, 3rd Corps here, uh, number 32 and the 14. And I think they're just, like I said, uh, that was number number 9, and I think he's... Um, 
Number 14, it, that's the um, the, fort, uh, the 19th Land Warrior Brigade, okay? And that's um, the Infantry Regiment number, sorry, uh, number 9. And this guy, and then I moved over, they have um, the 37th Infantry Division were over here. I moved them up uh, with the 3rd Guards uh, Infantry Division. These two here, 38 and 21. Um, doesn't really matter who 21 is really. Let's see if I can find it. Um, don't see him here yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you? You would have been arm, uh, Worsh Army Direct. I don't have you listed here. Oh, yeah, I do. So that's uh, regiments number two and 93. So they were moved up to, uh, to pick up the spot that the 37th moved in. So I've moved these bo uh, both in. These will be unsupplied, and I'm just using the yellow arrows to show you that they're like they're just from a different command. So that's going to be from Third Corps, and uh, the uh, Warsh Ar Army HQ is going to supply use three supply points up. So it's going to supply up twelve, uh, and the the remainder are going to be unsupplied. So that's uh, four leftover unsupplied um, strength points which gets halved, therefore, for its effective attacking strength points. So that's 12 plus 2. It's going to be right back to 14 um, effective uh, attacking strength points. I'm going to leave that there, but I'm, I have to get rid of this guy and pop him, pop him into um, 17 strength points. So hold on here. I'm going to pop that on so I know it, know that I've done it. And I'm going to say this right now. I think this hex is really, really important. Hold on, I want to sip some coffee before it goes cold. Reason being is it's the res remember the restrictive terrain and um, zone enemy zones of control. So these guys are. I'll show you with three strength points. It's uh, and now with the fourteen, um, even with the minus two. Uh, it's in, they will be forced to retreat because the Russians are at one third. Um, the Germans are guaranteed to do one hit. You'll see in a second. So these guys will be forced to retreat across the river because they want to get away from en enemy zones of control, and obviously they're going to want to go to Mommy, the uh, the Fourth Army HQ over here. But so that means the Germans are going to be able to advance across to here. This is going to cause a whole hell of a lot of grief because these guys can't entrain and use the train across here with this enemy zones of control here, uh, right there. So the 4th Army HQ has got a river to get across and woods and trying to get in and out of zones of control. You can freaking forget it. They're going to have to move out of here, which means basically Kielce is all but the Germans, uh, I would say, by the end of 04 November. I can't see that not happening. So we'll see what happens. Uh, well, we gotta do these rolls. We'll see how many, how bad of a, uh, how much damage the Germans are able to do. So hold on, I got it's hard for me to do both here. I'm not really. So you can see here. So it's at 14 total. So even with the minus two, they're still gonna do one hit. And with the one third uh, retreat uh, rule for the Russians, they're gonna be forced to retreat. So it's basically just to see how. Uh, well, they can't do they can't do three hits, but uh, obviously because of the minus two, but they can do certainly do two hits. Uh, well, with the retreat, it'll bring it down to one. Um, but well, let's let's go. I guess it'll you know let's just roll for goodness sakes. Yeah, like I said, I have to kind of keep an eye on. Well, it's it's inevitable. Eh? It's going to happen. I'm going to throw the dice on the on the board on the thing. The, the thing. So there's a four. You can see it. So minus two, down to two. On a twelve, uh, sorry, fourteen. So that's two hits. Um, they're they were they're forced to retreat regardless. Um, so I don't do it now. But um, so they'll be they'll be forced to retreat. So that'll be uh, reduce them down to one hit. Um, so now uh, the option is, as you can see here, Von, Sal Von Salsa has three supply points, and you know what? Let's punch them in, in the nose just a little wee bit, uh, or try to. So we're going to use one one supply point. So I might as well move that out of get a, get that out of the way. So that's going to supply only two of the three strength points because one counterattacking supply point is only for two. I have to keep you know. 
Trust me, I have to drum these into my head. Um, it's not like, uh, oh geez, he's telling us again. No, it's it's uh, it's telling me again. Trust me, man. Okay, another sip of coffee. Hold on. Yep. It's just gonna. It's hard to to learn to slow down with this game or whatever's. Uh, did I? Yeah, I put it. Put the supply. Point Alberto Mark. Oh, there it is. And thought I didn't find it, and I just found it. Goody. Okay. So I'll pop you onto the fourth army. So Von Salsa is going to use one supply point to. Um, oops, wrong spot to counterattack. So that would be um, two are going to be. We just put them off to the side, and they're going to be doubled. So that's to four because it's because they're forced to retreat. They don't get tripled. It's now doubled. The other guy gets halved, then doubled. So that's one down to half, down up to one. So we're at um, uh, th hold on here uh, five, five a counterattacking strength points with a plus one. Hope I'm getting this right. I think I am. All right. So what can the Russians do? What can Von Salsa do? What can this um, 150th Infantry Division from the Russian um, from the Russian Fourth Army? What can they do? Oh boy, a seven. Interesting. So a seven on a five. What the hell does that do? Oh my gosh, they were so close to doing two hits. Oh, oh, still, hey man, they punched them in the head a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to move them off here, but I'm going to put this, I'm going to turn that three. I'm just going to move them all over here, hold on. So you'll kind of get the idea. And I'll get rid of these arrows. I'll just leave them on actually for now. Um, and then I'll move, I'm going to move somebody to here is what you're going to see. So some, uh, one of these guys, probably the 37th or something like that, is going to take the hit. I'll move this 37th over to here. Um, because remember, these guys are third core. Uh, uh, they've got nothing to do with any of this stuff. This is all, um, their job was to deal with the rail, uh, rail line here in that position. That's what their job is. Uh, Warsh is interested in that, so I'm not advanced. I wouldn't, adv no, it would be crazy not, to, uh, we'd be crazy too, anyways. So I'll advance somebody over to here, and like I said, those guys will be popped over to here, and I think it's um, not looking too good. So uh, that's that. Okay, hope that, uh, that's that. Hope that worked out good. See you later.